the social media has given life to a lot of content creators and content creation has become a profitable career. You see skit makers, comedians, you see tech builders, you see fashion designers, you see chefs, you see everybody, you see footballers all becoming content creators. Come on, it's a new career in the digital age. My name is Shionwala Tenji and uh, stick with me to the end of this video so that you gain every little, little tiny bit of information that I've put together in this video as I walk you just through the journey of how to become a content creator. I've got a step-by-step -step process that I'll show you as well in this video to make you become a successful content creator. Step one is very critical and a lot of people skip this. What is the step one? Have a target audience in mind. You have to sit down and analyze who you are making content for. If you mistakenly or accidentally achieve any success without analyzing or without having a target audience in mind, you would not be able to replicate the success. And trust me, one blown video is not enough. You need another one. But when you accidentally or by chance have a blown video and you can't replicate it, then you are stuck. So when you have a target audience in mind, you may need to analyze the kind of content you make and who you are making the content for. Secondly, create the type of content that suits the platform. Create the type of content that goes well with the platform. For example, TikTok and YouTube. YouTube has over 2 billion users. TikTok has over 1 billion users. But YouTube supports more of long-form content. People can watch, like you're watching me, people can sit and watch YouTube for, can watch a particular video on YouTube for 10, 15, 20, even 30 minutes, depending on the uh, depending on the audience retention in that content. Meanwhile, on the other hand, people's attention span is very short on TikTok. Pass your message within 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and entertain them in less than one minute. So the attention span on each platform is different. Another one is YouTube videos are usually horizontal, right? And then you can afford to put different transitions and effects and all of that. You can basically put a movie on YouTube. But on TikTok, it is vertical. You have you need extra audience retention because in the first three seconds, if you don't capture your audience attention, you lost it, they scroll up and then the next one pops up. So the kinds of content that the platform wants, that the platform promotes is very, very important. Number three, make content based on search engine. In otherwise, make a research before you make your content. Make sure it is what people are looking for. This is the fastest way to go. It's like giving food to a population that is already hungry. The result is quite different, different from giving food to a population who will be hungry next month. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but make your content based on what people are searching for. So research. So make research before you begin to make your content. One of my videos went really viral on how to make 5 million impressions in 3 days. When YouTube did my engagement algorithms, they sent me a notification that this video has directed most traffic to my platform because this is what people are searching for and this is what you have made. So make research again before you begin to make content. It's like giving water to a population that needs water to drink. So doing that way, you already found an audience that is interested in what you are making, not making the content and then you are now looking for audience that would be interested in it and then you now make videos and you are now sending the links all over and you are now begging people who are uninterested in your content to watch it. Number four, have a solid schedule. If you post once in a week, let it be known. It doesn't mean you can't post in between or if you have something else to post, but have your most important content, have schedule for them. I'll be explaining. For example, if you post, if you post once in a week and your audience know that every Saturday by 12 noon you post then when it is that time of the day they come and check your post it's like your favorite it's like your football club wants to play at this time on this station 
even when you are on another station watching an interesting program, you switch and come because your favorite has to come on. Have a solid journey. You no, know, if you post 8 a.m. in the morning and 8 p.m. in the morning, keep it consistent. It doesn't mean something is trending by 3 p.m. You can post it. You can post it, but let people know you for your schedule. If you post twice a day, three times a day, keep it constant. Let people know you for what you are. It takes time and it, it takes time and consistency, though, but your loyal audience. I always lay emphasis on loyal audience. 350 loyal subscribers is better than 3,000 random subscribers. 200 loyal followers is different from 2,000 random followers who can't even remember why they followed you or as to how they even came across your page. The fifth and the last one is have a monetization strategy. The end goal is money, but you don't put it first. You start by creating value. You start by creating content. Let people see you as being resourceful, as being useful before you begin to monetize your audience. You can't come and sell YouTube Profit Partnership Program course when you have not made name for yourself, when you've not given people value on your YouTube, when your YouTube is really very small and then you come out to tell them the Profit Partnership Program and you want to sell it to them. You cannot come and sell how to grow on Twitter to them if you are just 300, 400 followers. Be resourceful but have a solid plan to monetize because eventually you get where you want to be but have you positioned yourself to a point whereby you would be able to monetize them everybody starts from zero but they don't monetize at zero then when you begin to get the figures you begin to attain the feet you have have you have you been putting strategies in place that would allow you to monetize your audience if you want to start out think of the money but it doesn't come first it comes after you have created value you have built a loyal audience you have shown yourself you have positioned yourself as if it's for sharing knowledge as knowledgeable if it's for entertainment you're highly entertaining if it's whatever you're doing you have to be resourceful first give value constantly creating value then you cannot think of monetizing the audience it's quite short it's just five of them but work on these five and you will be a successful content creator if you have gained at least one key question from this video, please like this video for me, subscribe to this channel, turn on my notifications so that YouTube will always remind you when I drop my notif my post. Um, once again, the like is really, really important for me because that is what tells YouTube that you enjoyed it and the YouTube can show it to other people. And if you've got questions, recommendations, criticism, whatever, I will join you right there in the comment section. All right? Lastly, you know how my advice goes because advice is good if you can be. But for whatever reason in this world that you can be good, the reason is the best known to you, but don't get caught. You'll see me again on your screen and I drop my next video. Bye bye.